How is everyone doing? Today is the 11th of July, 8 in the morning and we are here in Freiburg, East Germany to the business school that is taking place now in the summer and I will bring you guys with me today to make a nice vlog to register this day. Apparently today we have a nice excursion to a mine site called Heische Zesche and then after lunch we have classes there's a lot of things to show there's a nice weather we have Benny here <laughs> and today hopefully there will be nice stuff to show so that's our room it's a petit room chambre really nice one completely mess and here we have the the balcony let's go yes now we're going down for breakfast this is a nice hostel that we are called Heli Hostel. Look at these guys having uh, breakfast ready. So we have nice coffee machine options, then a really nice buffet with bread, cheese some little bars, juice, yogurt. How's breakfast? Really good, really nice. Eight, seven, we're about to finish. We just need to brush our teeth and we're ready. Ay, ay, ay. How are you guys doing? Janiko, what do we expect for this day? Going to the mine. Going to the mine. Yes. Did you have a nice breakfast? Yeah. And you, Nicoleta? Yes, also. Yeah. That's nice, Pedrão. Cafe. Cafe. <laughs> Chile, what are you having? I'm having bread and chocolate milk and an egg and then have. Why you don't have the egg support? You should have the egg support. Yes, and that looks beautiful. And just for a second. Look who arrives! Moata! Moata, why do you look so fancy? We go to a visit, Chile. Okay. Well, 8 30. Final time to leave the hostel and meet the guys downstairs. We're here with Lutvia. We are Hi. now heading to the mine. But Are you excited? Wait, I don't know the main the Me neither. Yes, I am so excited because I'm a geologist. So yeah. This city is all about graveyards and cemeteries. They are all over the place. We go walking always next to a cemetery. But they took take really care. Look at that. Nice place. Glue no, off. Which means good uh, luck in the mine, right? I think yeah. Ben explained that. This is a drilling machine, right Monta? Yeah. Jumbo. Jumbo? Jumbo machine. What about this little dozer? This one is the same as we saw here. Yeah, in Bosnia, you know. right? Should carry. Looks like. Changing room. Safety first. <laughs> Yo, Emerald now is completely ready. Janiko, can you describe why you have a Volkswagen logo in your clothing? I don't know, maybe <laughs> it's one of the sponsors of the mine. So we got to the place, we changed the room to the safety ones, and now we are ready to go underground, right? Yes! <laughs> so, what's so in this wall, they register everybody who goes underground. So here I think they have the people, the route and the organization they belong with. So at the end of the day, they are sure that everybody came up. If there is still a, a metal plate here, they know that somebody is still underground. Now we are waiting for our turn on this elevator that goes down the shaft 120 meters down. Let's check. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. Ich übernehme. 
Wir haben mich schon wieder alle Fragen gefragt hier. Ich weiß gar nicht mehr, ob du noch was erzählen musst. So, we are on the ground now. And apparently we're going to check some mineralization now. What was uh, they extracting here, Janiko? Silver, Silver, lead, and? Lead, uh, zinc. And zinc. Guys, Silver, lead, and zinc. We are going up. What's that in the wall? It's the mystery Get now with Chalco Pride together with Pyrite and Sphalerite mineralizations. <laughs> so we've been to the fourth level of this mine. It's not currently operating anymore. They are just doing uh, some research here right now. It's quite a nice experience. I don't know if we're going to see something more. Most of the mine is completely full of water and we are just in the upper levels. They were doing some practicals, classes on drilling. So the rock is completely full of holes for the practicals. Look at that. So we just finished the visit. It was really, really nice. Old mine operated until 1969. They were getting lead, silver, and something else that I forget now. It was really a nice experience. I couldn't film a lot because it's uh, it's an underground mine, so everything is uh, lacking light, and the GoPro does not perform very well with uh, low light, and also for not giving spoilers. So if you're interested, you can come here and visit this nice place. Did you guys like the visit overall or not? Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Yeah? It was very nice. And what we are doing right now, Dashi? We are going back to... Like no, 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 lunch. 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 Oh. So now the plan is to go to have some lunch at the uni canteen, so I can also show how the lunch works. It's a nice place. And then we have some lectures afternoon, and then we don't know. So that's what happens when you put uh, Jonico to guide the cohort. We are completely lost in the middle of the German jungle. No, no. They are poisonous snakes and spiders. Banana Republic, Benny? Banana Republic. <laughs> What's that know. about? I don't know the actual meaning. I just know that in the GDR back then, um, you were standing in line for at least two, three hours to get banana. If they have it in the store, and it was really rare to get it in the store. Okay. So it could be because of this, or it's simply because the people think the government is shit. And Republic they... of Bananas. So that very big building over there, with uh, orange bricks is the library where we are currently having lectures and that's where we are heading right now the canteen is right next to it so now we are in the canteen building here you can check what they are serving they have the vegetarian option and also the not vegetarian option we are going upstairs now to get some food right Nicoleta? yes you go for vegetarian or non-vegetarian? no non vegetarian let's show where we can eat you can eat either upstairs, but also in the summer here in the outside. I'm not opening this door because it's not allowed, but you can eat in this area as well. Ah. So that's the vegetarian side and that's the not vegetarian side. There's a plenty of space to eat here. And here you can have 
like do yourself like pasta there there are some heavy and here's some light food Jenny can be already having uh, what's no. this so you can have some healthy food and then you take the compliments here they also have some nice drinks some soup over there it's really complete buffet apparently today they have fish and chips with salad you're going to have fish and chips with you without salad so salad is healthy shame on you healthy guy water yes Now it's almost 1 p.m. and we are arriving at the brand new library from the university. We usually have classes in the seminar two room, which probably now is locked. Maybe I do some tour over the library. It's really, really nice. Brand new, really modern. So that's the coffee shop. And here we have this very beautiful stair that goes all the way to the third floor. It's a really modern building. Time to get classes. 1 p.m. We are going to have some classes now. A break in the middle and then we are finally free for today look at the view of the class really nice that's my room so it's all break time we also have access to the coffee shop here that's amazing yeah. half past four now we just finished our lectures from today and now we go home. I don't know what we're doing, maybe nothing, who knows, but there will be something. So these walls here are around 700 years old. They used to protect the old town of the city, which is behind the walls. You have two layers, this, the large one and this one. And yes, still, Still there, still holding, still protecting Freiburg. That's the advantage of having a German in the cohort when you are in Germany, because he can provide explanation about his own country. Can you? From time to time. Time to time only, right? We also pass through this nice, beautiful church, and then we take our shortcut along the cemetery. We already saw cemeteries today, but now we're going to see one more. Selig sind die Toten, die in dem Herrn sterben. What's the meaning? Blessed are the souls who are dying in uh -huh. sight of the Lord. Okay. Now the day is already over. It's around 8 o'clock. We arrive at home. We had some conversation together. We ate. And now we have to rest because tomorrow we have more lectures. Every day we are waking up about half past seven to be ready at half past eight and to arrive at the school at nine. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was a nice day just to register and remember the days that the Emerald 10 spent in uh, Freiburg. See you.